everyone, it's Tommy from TechNexus, and thanks for joining me for today's video, the second in our series of Advanced Steel and Dynamo. If you've been keeping up, you should be at a similar screen as to me. We have the inputs here, we have a maths function, which is a divider, and we have our range already set up here. So we're going from 0 to 30 meters over a number of bays, so that's 6. So 30 divided by 6 gives us 5, and that's how much we step. Now what we're going to do today is put in some points. So there's a, a value of variable in here called point by coordinates. And we do want to do x, y, z. Okay. Now with this portal frame on each bay we have five points. So two at the bottom, two at the wall height and one at the overall roof height. So these are the five points I want. So I'm going to just going to copy paste this five times and I'm going to move the result out here a little bit just so it's easy to see. So each of these points are going to be controlled by each of these inputs. So the first one, the X is going to be a sequence. Now if you're following along and you do get this error, the reason for that is the modeling range. So you go to your settings and then geometry scaling and you can go large or extra large. Doesn't really matter. And now we get the allowance. Okay. So our sequence, so the, the 0, 5, 10 is going to be each of the X values down here. So we just drag the X values down from sequence to each of the X values for the points. Okay, so now I want to do maybe let's say these two at uh, this is going to be the first point, and then this one's going to be the second point. So I want another point up here for the side of the wall, which is the wall height. So that's going to be our Z value. Okay. Now, if I just zoom out a little bit here. So you can see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's each of these points. So if I click on this, then you can see that's the ground point and that's the wall point. Okay, and just rotate this around a little bit more. Let's just adjust it so it looks nice and neat. Okay, so now this, the other side is going to be the width of the building. So this same point, but I want to have a Y value on it. So let's rotate the graph a little bit more. So now you can see we've got the, let's say the, the, the southern face at the ground and the southern face at the roof height. And now we've got the northern face at the ground and then we want to do the width of the building for the second point. So we actually we want to change that. We actually want the height. And the width of the building. So now we've come up. So there's the bottom. So that's the northern face of the ground. And that's the northern face, the top of the wall. So now we want to get this point to be in the middle for the X value. So we want to do a divisor again. Okay, and you can just click and detach those tags there. And we want a number because what we want to do is divide the width by two. So I can just come in here and type in two. And then I can change the width of the building to be on the 12. 
So now we get a value of six meters. So that is now going to be our Y value. So you can see it's smack down the middle. And now the roof height is going to be the eight meters. So if I rotate that around, you can kind of see how the building's going to look. Okay, so if I look at it end on, we've got the bottom points for the ground, the wall height points here for the height of the wall, and the top of the, the pitched roof here. Okay, so that's what each of these five points is. So first point, second point, third point, fourth point, and fifth point is the top. Okay, so that's all we're going to do today. What we're going to do tomorrow is start modeling in our beams according to those points and placing those beam sections. And then you will eventually see the advanced steel model populate inside of advanced steel itself. And as we change the user inputs, then the model will change. So thanks for watching today. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. Please do uh, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notification of all of my daily videos. And I will see you tomorrow where we'll finish off this, uh, this script and then hopefully you have an advanced steel model. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.